Has the lockdown got you down in blue? Well, do not fear as we are here to rekindle the magic that is content creation. Hey guys, this is Freedom Quick Tips and today let's talk about the lockdown. We know that it's kind of paralyzing to say the least, but as content creators, we push through and do ways that can spark creativity back in our lives. Let's talk about that. Content that can spark your creativity back into your life. You might not know it, but there are a lot of content ideas you can actually create to make content in the comforts of your home. Want to know what these are? Well, let us tell you the ideas that we can think of on the top of our minds. Number one, let's play videos. In your lifetime as a content creator, you want to record your games and show it to the whole world. Well, it's not too late to do that. In fact, this is the best time to create content because of the lockdown. So grab your phone, maybe your laptop, console, or desktop and start live streaming or recording your games. People out there need to be entertained and it's your job to keep them entertained. You can play a plethora of games from role-playing games, real-time strategy games, esports games, first-person shooters, and a lot, a lot more. Take your pick, start recording or streaming or both and keep entertaining people. Number two is ASMR content. Do you know those very relaxing and calming videos where people are in front of a microphone and speaks very softly or slowly. Sometimes they don't speak at all, they just run objects on the microphone and it sometimes makes you relax. Okay, to put things into perspective, ASMR means Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Experts or psychologists define this as a feeling of euphoric tingling and relaxation that can come over someone when he or she watches certain videos or hears certain sounds. So for all those people who think that this is not good quality content you can do at home, well, it actually is truly legitimate. So grab your brushes, feathers, or maybe just run down your fingers on a microphone and see where the magic takes you. Number three is the mukbang challenge. Have you ever encountered a video where all you see are just people eating food in front of a camera? If you have, congratulations, you're one of the people who are in the know. So a little bit of a background regarding mukbang. This is a kind of video originated from South Korea and it started around 2010. Typically the video is just a person in front of a camera eating food they have created or they didn't create, depending on the creator. We're guessing you don't know what mukbang means. Well, to put it simply, mukbang is a putmantu word that is a mix of two words smushed together. But when it comes to the phonetics and root word, mukja means eating and bangsong for broadcast. Basically, it means eating broadcast. In a way, it makes sense why it's called mukbang. And with that being said, your opinion about this kind of video might change. We definitely suggest you should try it out and let your viewers salivate to the sound of your chewing. Number four is a workout challenge. This kind of video is all over the internet where bodybuilders, celebrities, and basically healthy people do when they are in the gym. Basically, it's the same thing. The only difference is you get to do it in the comforts of your home. You can maybe mentor people on how to do push-ups, how to do good burp, or curl ups. You'd be surprised there's a lot of people who actually do not know how to properly do exercises. Number five is vlog videos. These are one of the videos that will never grow old. Some people lead very interesting lives when people get a glimpse of it. They could feel that they are with them in their adventures. Well, do your vlog videos at home and you can actually invite your viewers into your humble abode. That way, they can feel very welcomed and have an amount of closeness between you and your audience. We definitely recommend it. Number six is singing content. Okay, there's a lot of videos videos out there that people show off their singing prowess. Some of them do covers and some of them create their own original songs. What we say, you should do both. If you are a musician, this is the time where you can mostly shine. You have a lot of time to practice your craft, create a song, cover a popular song, maybe rearrange a particular song to your liking, and a lot more. Let your imagination run wild. Number seven is dance content. We mentioned that you should let your imaginations run wild, and this is true for dancing content as well. If you are really good with a pop and lock, maybe R&B, hip hop, break dancing, or other form of dance, you should definitely record yourself and make video. Seriously, people would want to learn your dance moves, and in this lockdown period, people would definitely appreciate and love your dance creation. Maybe you can also host a mentoring live stream session. That is a great idea right there. There are a lot more when it comes to content during these lockdown periods. We have given you our picks and top of the mind ideas for this unfortunate time. Do you have other ideas? Let us know down below. Do you know any of your friends that are having a hard time making content during the lockdown period? Share this video to help them out. Before you leave guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. This is Freedom Quick Tips and I'll be seeing you again in the next episode. Goodbye.